okay it's um round three cycle day three and stems day three um i had <clears throat> my fertility massage today and it um is a com component of a part of ivf that they assist you with and it, this one in particular is called enhancing the blood i'm gonna go grab the chart that um they gave me and basically it's um helping you to figure out when and what you're supposed to do uh what they suggest that you do when you're in your ivf cycle so depending on where you are in your cycle they have suggestions of what they would like for you to do and what will help you what will make you uh put you in the best optimal uh oh situation um during your cycle so these are my my planner my journal so i can take notes while i relax um so i'm gonna try and show you this chart and i don't know if you guys will be able to read it but um this helps you with figuring out where you are in your cycle what they suggest that you do how often they want you they suggest that you do it uh, what to avoid, what's um, what's healthy, what's safe, all of that. So, um, yeah, you can pause this if you want to read it. Today I had Enhance the Blood. Um, she was awesome. She was great. I loved my session with her. Um, I would like to have her again. If should I go again, I will request request her. Her name was Chrissy. Uh, the facility is called Pulling Down the Moon. Excellent. Beautiful place. Uh, they offer you tea and water and they have yoga classes. They offer massages. They offer nutritional classes and whatnot. Oh, sorry, there's a notification. Um, so quickly about the massage. Um, this was not an ordinary massage. This was some different stuff. Um, she focused on pressure points, muscles, uh, major arteries that would enhance the blood and send everything rushing to my uterus, my cervix, my ovaries, my fallopian tubes. Uh, she did a motion where she opened up my hips and stretched and basically trying to get the blood flow and the oxygen flow uh, to optimize the entire IVF process. She did this particular part where it's called uh, the femoral artery and she pressed down and once she found the pulse, she pressed down and she held it for 30 seconds. And she did this a cycle of three times. And what she did was when she was holding it down, she released it and what that did was send blood rushing to um, the womb we're just gonna call it the womb because um, it was it's different parts that she was doing that benefited either the uterus or um, the ovaries and other parts she did it three times separate times she did it on both sides that was awesome there's also a muscle that is directly underneath your hip bone she um, thankfully I've learned how to breathe so uh, when you inhale and when you exhale you allow your body to relax and let whoever's working on you to manipulate wherever they're going especially if it's a pressing motion or if they're pushing down so once she said, am I ready? I prepped myself by inhaling and then I exhaled. And the pressure that they apply to your body helps you continue to exhale until all the air is almost out of your body. It's not uncomfortable, but it's intentional. It feels good and whatever they're doing. I love the way she applied pressure, asked me if the pressure was okay, etc. And I could feel her 
basically going up underneath my hip bone and pressing down and putting pressure on that muscle. And even though it was uncomfortable, the entire thing was relaxing. It released some pressure that I've been feeling in my lower back. Um, the Basically the pressure that you would feel once you're pregnant. Um, I'm carrying about 20 pounds in water weight. I'm very uncomfortable. I am also bloated from my cycle. I'm still recovering from the the retrieval and I'm starting stems so there's a lot going on and um, the massage put me in a very tender um, slow relaxed um, disposition and so it, it just forces you to relax and it forces you to just be aware of your body. And um, I completely see how this is beneficial to the process. And I want to fit in some more sessions bef during my IVF cycles. Um, once I left, I stopped at the store, got a couple things, came home, and I fixed myself something to eat made some homemade broccoli cheddar soup and it came out pretty tasty but I'm just in a mood and a mood swing hit me and I'm I'm just feeling sad and I'm feeling lots of sad emotions and I don't want to name them because it's redundant and I just don't want to think about it but um, I'm just I'm just not feeling like I'm in a good emotional space. I felt balanced the day before and a couple of days before that, but today I'm I'm at a, I'm hitting a low. And typically good news or a good day will have a high and then it'll have a low. And um I'm just feeling really frustrated with um the repeated emotions that I have. And um it's just what it is. It's the hormones. It's it's just part of this whole process. So I can't focus on any weight loss because this is just going to be what the cycle is going to be for a while. I'm eating healthy. I treat myself from time to time if I want, you know, something um, to snack on or to eat that would, you know, be like comfort food. But, you know, even with me eating healthy, I'm still holding all this water weight so I'm not gonna stress myself too much about it I can focus on that part later um, yeah so that's all just wanted to share that about the um, massage I've already taken my follow stem for this evening I have taken my uh, dexamethasone and my doxycycline for today um, this morning's injection, which is the Gana Relics, I think I injected myself in a bruise, which would have been day one uh, site injection or injection site. Because as soon as I injected myself, it hurt like a lot. And then when I uh, pulled the needle out, it was a lot of blood. And that's just unusual for me. I hadn't had that happen, especially in the abdomen. I had the tush um, bleed a bit, but um, it, it almost poured out, like dripped out. So that was kind of alarming and a little unnerving. So today's just been a little bit off, I guess. The massage was great, but just some small things here and there. That's off, but I'm just going to relax and do what I do and um, do some things that bring me comfort and love and I can say all that shit but sometimes it doesn't make a difference you just gotta ride it out I'm just not in a good space right now Sheba. 
Maybe I'll sit here and pet on my dog. Uh oh, the TV. Come on. Come sit next to mommy. Oh. Say hi. Say hi. Oh. No, you're forcing me to rub you, okay? It's good to have somebody to love on me. And then I can love on. Sweet little thing. All right, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna go and just, I don't know, sit in my feelings for a minute. 